All right, FRQ number four for the 2024 AP Physics 1 exam, Form O, and if there are any corrections, I will put it as a pinned comment. So a simple pendulum consists of a small sphere that hangs from a string with negligible mass. The top end of the string is fixed. The sphere is pulled to point A, so the string makes a small angle theta with the vertical as shown. The sphere is then released from rest. So the velocity is zero, so it makes us, uh, so it swings to the lowest point B. The work done on the sphere of the Earth between is work done by Earth. So careful, we're doing work done by the sphere. We're not including the Earth in the system, so that's why gravity does do work. The pendulum is then taken to planet X, and the mass of planet X is the same mass of Earth, but the radius of the planet is greater than the radius of the Earth. So same mass, but greater radius. The sphere again is brought to point A and released from rest, swings to the lowest point. The work done on the sphere by planet X between A and B is WX. Justify what WX? Well, um, so work is force times the displacement, parallel to the displacement. And so this is gonna be MG times the displacement here. Now, the vertical displacement, we're talking about the vertical displacement here because gravity points downward. And then all we care about is the component of the displacement parallel. When we do work, we care about the component of the parallel displacement. So it's gonna be the same drop because it's the same rope same angle, same vertical distance we're gonna fall. So now the M is the same, the delta X is the same, the question is the G. Well, the G is equal to G, mass of the planet, mass divided by the radius of the planet, squared, okay? That's the the acceleration due to gravity. So the mass of the object doesn't, oh, sorry, there's no little M there. It's just the mass of the planet. So what they're saying is the same mass, this is unchanged, but the radius, um, but the radius is greater. This is going to be larger, which means that you have a larger denominator, which means G is going to go down. So overall, this quantity decreases. Okay. So um, the the work done by gravity, work is going to equal to MGH. It's the same height, height change, same mass, but G is smaller because the planet has the same mass. Planet has the same mass, but larger r, which implies a smaller acceleration, smaller g. Smaller g. So the work done by x is less than work done by e. Okay? So that's our justification. A new pendulum is made by hanging the same small sphere from a different string with negligible mass. The new string is slightly elastic, and the length of the string may increase or decrease depending on the tension applied to the string. Ooh, a little bit. So we're stretching a little like a rubber band a little bit, like a spring. On Earth, when the sphere is again displaced theta, the vertical and released from rest, the new pendulum oscillates with period TE. Okay, so we're going to oscillate here. The new pendulum is taken to a different planet, planet Y. The radius of the planet Y is the same as the radius of Earth, but the mass of planet Y is larger than the mass of planet Earth. So planet Y is a larger mass. On planet Y, when the sphere is again displaced from the vertical and released from rest, the new pendulum oscillates with period TY. In a clear, co par coherent paragraph length response that may contain drawings, explain how TY could be larger than TE, but could also be smaller than TE. <laughs> So this is kind of interesting. So first of all, we got to understand the period. The period is related to 2 pi for a period is m um, L over G. Okay, so this is our general equation for the period. Now, the thing about the string is because it is longer, okay, because, it, um, because the planet is greater. Okay, so let, let's just kind of organize everything in our mind before we write everything down. Why could this be true? Well, with the more mass planet, the G could be larger. So the G could be larger, and that could make the period go down. Okay, that's that quantity, because in the denominator, because I have a larger mass, I have a larger G, that might cause that to go down. However, because it's stretching, because of that larger G, due to energy, it might be moving faster. If it's moving faster, that means there's a greater force acting on the spring. You're going to have to connect that force idea because they're telling you it's slightly elastic. The length of the string may increase or decrease depending on the tension applied. We're going to have a greater tension because it's moving faster down there. There's a greater centripetal acceleration. Because of that, we have to have a greater centripetal force. That might make the string longer. And so the increasing L might make the period go up. Okay? So let's explain first how it could be smaller. And then second, we have to outline everything that can make it larger. Okay, so it could be smaller, could be smaller. Okay, so first let's talk about it. So the, the period is um, proportional 
to the square root of L and inversely proportional. to the square root of g. On planet y, so we got to address both these points. So planet y, the g is larger, which could make t smaller. So that one's probably the easiest one to address. However, a larger g implies implies the there is more gravitational potential energy when released for the uh, block sorry the pen the, the mat the sphere or a uh, planet system and thus more kinetic energy at the the bot at the bottom. This implies the um, so more kinetic energy at the bottom. This implies there is more centripetal acceleration, which equals v squared over r, um, and thus f net is greater upwards greater upwards. Thus, the tension could be greater, or would be greater, and make L longer, bigger. Thus, um, T could increase because of that. So it would depend on how much those things change, right? And so that th this one, th th more of the points are going to be on the second part because you do have to make the connection why the tension's got to be greater, okay? Um, um, because the T would be greater, be longer. Why is the T greater? Because if I do a free body diagram, right? And this is the tension and then this is MG, and then the direction of the acceleration, you know, just drawing our free body diagram there. If I have a greater centripetal acceleration, which is V squared over R, that means, or in this case L, that means the tension would have to be greater. And that means by what they were saying, if the tension is greater, then it's going to be longer too. Okay. So um, you, you, you probably have to make those, those extra connections. It's kind of an interesting question. You got to make those, those connections in there. Okay. And that's the paragraph answer question.